What's up, folks? I want to show you something. That is the Commodore 64 that works. Uh, so I did want to take a little bit of time and, you know, tell you about an important diagnostic tool in this journey. This is a Commodore 64 dead test cartridge, and you can get these on eBay, and they're pretty cheap. I think they're between, somewhere between 10 and $20. So I got one of these, and this is actually what told me which RAM chip was bad when I started, because if the machine is too fucked to even get to the basic prompt like I just showed you, then this thing will actually do a flash code to tell you which chip is wrong. So you throw this thing in and, you know, it'll be a blank screen for a while, but then it'll flash. And the number of flashes will tell you which chip is bad. Now, when the machine is more functional, you can actually use this to run a full RAM test and a much more comprehensive diagnostic. So actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run that test and just uh, show you what it does. So this is like the only like piece of software that I can run aside from stuff that I typed in manually into the basic prompt. So yeah, here it is. And it's uh, I'm going to run through um, different parts of the memory. It just checked out the zero page, which is the lowest memory addresses. Now it's testing a screen RAM. And uh, yes, yeah, so it'll basically just go through here and it'll pop through all the different kinds of RAM. And when it's done, it'll increment the count and it'll just keep running. So theoretically, you could have this thing on all for a while. Make sure your RAM is good. So it's, you know, it runs through this and it's happy. So I'm very, you know, my job is, it kind of sucks. Um, it doesn't look very good. And there's that trace I lifted. And I basically took a resistor lead and I just patched it on the underside of the board. But it was functional, it works. So again, you know, if the result is to have a functioning 30-year-old computer, you know, I guess mission accomplished. So again, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. But yeah, there you go, count one, all the way through. So yeah, super happy to have this thing working. Uh, next up is to get a disk drive emulator. I've got parts on order from England. So I'll be putting together a Raspberry Pi based disk emulator soon and then yeah, I want to play some demos on this thing. That's what I want to do with it. So stay tuned y'all.